there! Welcome to Family Virtual Storytime. Today we're going to be reading some books about art. Some tools that you use to make art and you might recognize a few. There's going to be some pencils, some markers, and maybe even a paintbrush. Well, I hope you're ready to read about some creative characters, so let's start! Our first story today about some creative art characters is called When Pencil Met Eraser. Aren't pencils great? You can draw anything with them, right? Have you, do you do a lot of drawings with pencils? Have you maybe drawn a pencil with a pencil? I love doing some drawings. It's amazing what a pencil can do. You can draw some little shades. You can maybe draw around what your pencil is drawing on your drawing and, and then, oh no! I made a mistake. I drew on my pencil with my pencil. Oh no, how do you, how do we fix that? Do we maybe, you know, draw a little tighter? Maybe that'll fix it? Oh man. Or do you maybe, do you shake the pen with the paper and maybe that'll fix it? Oh no. What do we need? Hmm. Maybe we need an eraser with the pencil, right? Don't those go together? Wow. Look at that. It's fixing it already. There's so many things you could do with an eraser too. Maybe you don't like something on your drawing. Maybe I don't like this. I'll take that away. But what should I replace it with? Hmm. Maybe I'll replace it with an M, a C, a P, and an L for Marathon County Public Library. Wow, pencils really are amazing. I love drawing with a pencil but it's also handy to have an eraser. So let's see how those two first came together when Pencil met the eraser. Once there was a pencil who loved to draw. Wow, look at all the drawings that he made. It's a lot of buildings, right? I wonder who lives there. Pencil liked to work alone. But then, what you doing? Oh, who's that? And once there was an eraser who loved to erase. Look, now you can see the sky. Was Pencil happy? Pencil wasn't very happy about it. Let's do another one, said the eraser. <laughs> Leave the art to the artist. So Pencil kept drawing. Wow, look, he's made of fields with even some flowers. He's talented. And the eraser kept erasing. Look what an eraser did. Scrubbed away. Look, now we can walk through the meadow. A pathway. Does Pencil look happy? So Pencil kept drawing. Look, there's a sailboat and some waves. Ooh, I think there's some crashing waves. Oh no, eraser. But eraser kept erasing. Look at Now it's smooth sailing. No more harsh waves, no more gloomy clouds. Hmm. Pencil didn't think his art needed erasing to be great. But look, now we can stargaze. That eraser. He always has other ideas. And what does Pencil say? Bet you can't make everything better. See what you can do with this. Wow, that's a dark piece of square, isn't it? And look. Eraser scrubbed his smiley face. And this. Wow, look at that, all those shapes coming together. I think they're forming a maze. And look, eraser scrub, scrub, and formed it. Amazing, says Pencil. Everyone knows that the pencil can never resist a maze. And look, Pencil did the maze, but oh no. Sometimes pencils make a mistake. Look, he's stuck. Erasers help fix them. Look, Pencil made it through. Ta-da! You know, maybe we are better together.
come on, Eraser. And look, now they're actually playing together. There's the captain, there's the Eraser. And you know what? They were better together. Now they're both stargazing. And look on the tree, BFF, best friends forever. Aw, I'm sticking with you from now on. Look, they're together. Once there was a pencil and an eraser who loved to create. Wow, look what they drew. It looks like they're in a solar system on a different planet. Wow, it's pretty amazing what a pencil and an eraser can do, right? Until, look, there's a crayon, a marker, a pen, a paintbrush. And these guys all say, what you doing? And that's the end of When Pencil Met Eraser. They are pretty fun characters, right? Well, I know I like to draw with a pencil, and I always like to draw with an eraser, too. Well, let's see what our next characters are up to. Our next story is continuing on with pencil and eraser, but also with a few markers. Have you ever drawn with markers? It's pretty fun adding color to your drawing, right? Well, let's see if all of these markers get along and draw together. And this book is called When Pencil Met the Markers. Once there was a pack of markers. Look, there's a green and a black, and then there was purple. Wait for me. And they all loved to color. Look, they're coloring a cherry on a Sunday. And then there was the purple marker. Everyone remember, stay inside the lines. Yep, yep, yep. Mm, did purple stay inside the lines? Mm, purple loved to color everywhere. Outside the lines. It's a very purple rainbow. <laughs> and all over the place. Wow, that sand castle is quite plum purple. Cool, right? Look at that. We have a purple dolphin, a purple seaweed, purple rock, and then the other markers didn't think it was cool at all. Oh, purple, purple. The rest of the markers kept coloring inside the lines, but purple kept coloring outside the lines. Look, he gave that balloon a funny face. Hmm. Uh, black says, that's a big mistake. Green says, oh, you got purple on my green, dude. And red says, think of the lines like a stop sign. And blue says, Socle blue. So all the markers go back into their pack. But uh -uh, uh, we're not quite sure you fit here, purple. And that made purple feel blue. So purple decided to color alone. Look, he's found a nice field drawn by pencil. He's coloring in. But purple wasn't alone. There's pencil and eraser. What you doing? Purple says, mm, coloring. And Eraser says, you know, I can fix that for you. But everyone knows that a marker can't be erased. Ta -ta! I have an idea, says Pencil. Look, marker, you color here. But where are the lines, says Purple. Maybe you don't need lines, Eraser says. Give it a try. So, purple colored, and colored, colored, and colored again. And then pencil drew over the marker. Look what they made together. That's a beautiful butterfly, and a clump of grapes, a beautiful bird, and a cupcake. Purple loved working together. Let's do another one, they said. So look. Pencil is drawing out maybe a dinosaur, and purple's coloring in. Hey, what's going on here? Says orange. Well, it, it looks like something interesting, says green. 
And look, cool, right? Says Purple. And you know what? The other markers thought it was very cool. Blue says, treads many thick. Orange says, totally. And yellow, awesome. Isn't that great? The colors are starting to like what purple does. Our turn. Look, they want to color in some of the drawings too. Wait, yells the red. You colored outside the lines again. But orange asks, was that really a mistake? Let's see. Pencil says, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. And look, they turn the mountain into a volcano. Happy accidents and happy markers. So they all color together. Look, they have some colorful traits and cars. And they were the best at it. Wow, they really are the best, aren't they? Everything's so colorful and creative and unique. They're the best, huh? Or were they? Hmm, who are these? Looks like a whole pack of crayons. Well, the text says the end, but the crayons marked it out. Who knows what's coming next? But that's the end of when Pencil met the markers. Isn't that great how Pencil and the Eraser were able to be friends with Purple Marker and show him how creative and really talented he could be? I love it when markers and pencils come together to create a beautiful masterpiece. Well, let's see what happens next with some drawings that you can make at home in the Craft It Corner. Hi there, welcome to Craft It. Today I'm going to be showing you some drawings that you can do at home with some simple materials like we learned about in the book. Do you see how the purple marker drew out some fun shapes? Drew this one and that one and that one. And then pencil drew over them to make the butterfly and the grapes and the cupcake. Well, this is an example of something that you can also do at home. So let's see what shapes we can come up with today. Maybe we'll draw a shape there. Maybe we'll draw another shape there. And maybe one more. Hmm. Then maybe we'll draw something over here. Color it in. And maybe we'll add one more. What do you say? Add one more shape here. Um, let's see what we can make with those. So we'll put our purple marker down. And in the story, pencil and eraser came together, right? But I'm gonna use a black marker because I don't know if you'll be able to see the color otherwise. So you take your pencil and draw over it. What could those three shapes turn into? What do you see? Maybe they could become balloons. Maybe there's a great celebration going on in town. Maybe a parade or someone's having a birthday party. And look, we made some balloons. Hmm, what can this shape turn into? Well, when I look at this shape, I see a tasty treat. Maybe it's an ice cream cone. Wow, it's a purple one. What kind of flavor is that? Oh, it's probably grape. I love grape. And I especially love ice cream and a waffle cone. And look what we made. And this is something you can do at home, kids. You can have anyone just draw a few simple shapes. And then you can use your imagination to turn those shapes into balloons or ice cream cones or hippos or birds or whatever comes to mind. So I hope you try this out and be inspired just like pencil, eraser, and the purple marker. Our last story today is about two characters that are creating a masterpiece of their own. It's called Horse and Buggy Paint It Out. Wow, that looks like fun, says Buggy. Yes, I am painting a mural, says Horse. Look, he's splashing up some purple paint. Well, what's your plan, says Buggy. 
My plan, says Horace. Ha, I don't need a plan. Look at him, so confident. It's all up here. In your hat, says Bunny. No, my brain, silly, says Horace. Ha, here I go. Look, he's got his purple paint and he's, oh no, he's getting rather close to that pail. Um, plunk. Oh, the purple's paint's everywhere. You know, I could help, says Buggy. No, thanks, says Horse. And kids, you really shouldn't put your paintbrushes in your mouth. Mm. I do not need help, says Horse. And plunk. He walked right into the yellow paint. I don't think he meant to do that. Horse, says Buggy, your plan needs a plan. Look, he's got purple hoofs, he's got yellow hoofs, and there's even purple on his tail. My plan does not need a plan, says Horse. And neither do I. See? Well, he did make pink paint, but... Mm, horse, your mural's a big mess, says Buggy. This is how I work, says Horse. He likes to work covered in paint and paint on the ground and paint everywhere. Hmm. You know, Buggy, you can paint a mural of your own if you want to. Step aside, please. And now look, he spilled the blue paint. Maybe Horsey's part of the, the mural. Hmm. And whoops, splat. Oh no, he fell on the paint. Oh, Horse. Horse, says Buggy. Are you okay? Buggy, says Horse. Yes? Can you help me? Well, yes, says Buggy. I can. Number one, get a drop cloth. Number two, put all your paints on the drop cloth. Three, draw what's in your head, Horse. Or in my hat, says Horse. <laughs> and finally, Draw your picture on the wall. And look, Buggy's helping. Buzz, 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 buzz. Oh, what will the mural be? Can you tell? Oh, it looks like it might be. Oh, it's gonna be some flowers and sunshine. After you have it drawn on, then you can paint. Wow, this mural's gonna be great, says Horsey. Look, that's what was in Horse's head, and that's what's on the wall. What a good plan. Horse, why are you painting with your tail? Because, Buggy, horsehair brushes are the best. <laughs> Look what they created together. We have some purple flowers, some pink flowers, some orange flowers, and a beautiful sunshine up there. Wow, Horse and Buggy's mural turned out pretty great, huh? I guess it's better when you work with a plan and when you work together. Well, that's the end of Horse and Buggy painting out. What a fun time we've had today reading about some creative characters. I hope that you're able to enjoy these stories and maybe create something at home. Till next time.